I'm a kind of pretty uh, fundamental Gemara tonight. I'm a kind of stay nashim. We show a pruta. Is this up to? Yeah. I'm a kind of stay nashim. We show a pruta. No, we started actually. That's not true. We started the Gemara. We're up to. Uh, yeah, um, well, I'll read it over again. What's the difference between like three lines in the Gemara? I'm a kind of stay nashim. We show a pruta. If somebody married two two women with a pruta for the two of them, right? So not a pruta each. Or one woman with less than Shor Puta. Even though he said gifts afterwards, and in Makudash she's not married. She magmets Kiddushin Rishayim Shalach. The only thing he had on the basis of the first Kiddushin. Imagine last night as we close, and that's you know by the famous Machlokas Ravenkin Reb Moshe about civil marriages, right? Uh, the same truth, the same is true about it if a child is Mikadish. Kaya learned the Kulan Shabalu Kano. Once B occurs, it's, uh, the, that's a valid Kinyan, because any condition or any problem in the, in the, in the vehicle by which the, con- the, the condition was, 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 um, was affected, such as a problem with the money, is over overridden by the bill which is done for the purpose of kiddushin. Not true. Even that bill it's not about kiddushin. The bill was only for the purpose of the first marriage, and it doesn't overcome the deficits of the first marriage ceremony. Um, now we discuss this for for further. Im it should be im balu kano. It's uh, good in the frying trays that has that word. If they were boel, they were koinem. Reichiv reishem rabs the Rebbe Yochanan says kano luchum and only luchum are not lekula. I mean, they still should do the ma'aseh another ma'aseh kedushin over again, but she can't go out without a get. Okay, so the bia trick is makaya makes kedushin val luchumra but not lekula. Rabbi Chir B'Shem Rabbi Yochanan said, "Now, Kote Nine. Now, this is a major, major um, issue. What the Ushami means by this? Let me read, read the sentence, uh, a couple sentences, and then go back and discuss it." Rabbi Chir B'Shem Rabbi Yochanan said, "Kote Nine Shu Maisa Mitchiloso. Any Tnai where a Maisa precedes it, the Kudesh is the Chumrin. She says, 'Mukudesh the Chumra, even if the Tnai was not fulfilled.'" Um, Rabbi Mara, B'Shem Rabbi Yubashur, Ba'a Kumi Rabbi Yuda, Ma'an Tana, he said, Who is the Ta'a Yasin, Stay in front of Yuda, Ma'an Tana, Kol Ta'a Yishu Ma'asin, Tchiloso, Who is the Ta'a who said that any Ta'a which is a Ma'asin to begin with, Ma'asin precedes it. Ta'a Ba'ata, the Ta'a is now avoid, and we say the Kedushin is valid. The Lord Rabbi Shimon, it's not like Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon doesn't hold that way. Because however, Rabbi Shimon holds that the, the Tanai takes effect, no matter what. Now the case is like this. The, 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 actually, it's a, uh, the the Shaitar so argues that all the other we show we show him here, but I think he's correct. Although it's not necessarily 100 percent clear. The the, the Gil and Ephraim here on the bottom brings down a brisa, and the Shaitar so also brings it down. I'll just say it outside. The, uh, if somebody says, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to marry you, and I'm going to have relations with you, on the condition that my father agrees. So the Bryce says, and it's brought down the Bible in that fine Gimel, Even though the father does not agree in the end, she's still married. Rabbi Shimon says the name, Rabbi Shimon, no, it, it's, it depends on the father. The father wants, since I was conditioned, Father wants she's Mukudeshis, the father does not want she's not Mukudeshis, right? But it's not Mukudeshis no matter what, like Tanakama says. The the time there was B, right? Oh, there was B, yeah, sure. So was, B. was that Znus, if, if the father doesn't have yeah. B? Yeah, yeah. So, so the question is what's the Machlokas over here? So, Machlokas, it's a, according to the Bavli, Machlokas is where, in, in the language of a Tznai, where you have the, the coin to Bible, you have to, whenever you make a tonight, the tonight must be koidem lamaisa. When you express, verbalize the condition, in the condition, 
the time must precede the deed. Here, if you said I have a relation to you on the condition the father agrees, so in that case, the tenai will come subsequent to the deed. So according to Rabbi Aaron, that's not a valid tenai, and the tenai is just uh, uh, ignored. According to Rabbi Shimon by Yehud, according to Rabbi Shimon, the name Rabbi Shimon, no, such a tenai is valid as well. Now the reason why the beer doesn't is not mevatel tenai is because you said harini boalech. You said on the tenai. The re- normally beer is mevatel tenai when the beer is not done out tenai, even though the kiddushin and the sum were done out tenai. Then the then the subsequent beer is mevatel the tenai. But he has made the tenai on the beer itself. That's why it's not bought, the tenai is not bought up. According to Rabbi Shimon Yehuda, that's the way the Bible goes. But the Shachar says Yushami argues. Yushami says something altogether different. Yushami holds it to Meiser to Kol Tanai Shem Meiser Mitchlosa means any time the Meiser, which pre, um, the Meiser is the, the Meiser uh, has been done, um, meaning that um, it's a Meiser which is done by the individual. Is, is spin. There's a maisa which is done by an individual, which can't be done by shliach. Such as kedusha isha, right? Kedusha bia, right? Can't be done by shliach. Chalitza can't be done by shliach. Anytime you have a tenai like, anytime you have a maisa like that, even though there's a tenai attached to it, the tenai can't cancel the maisa. So anything which is a true maisa, meaning that the person himself has to do a deed and can't be done by shlichus, tonight is not canceled. It says it's similar. The Bible has such a principle also. Suvis, I think it is. The Bible brings up such a principle that you can't say make it tonight. So that's what he wants to say, that, uh, that this is a similar concept here in the Yushami. So according to that, according to Yushami, it's not a question of the language of the tonight when you say is a problem, but it's a question of the nature of the Maisa. Okay? It's impossible to tell from the Ushami which in, in, interpretation of Ushami is choosing. Um, one could learn the Ushami either way. So then, uh, uh, along these lines, the Gemara says, uh, Rabbi Yudan, uh, uh, Rabbi Yudan, Mishari Yudan, say Mukdash is Luchumran. In the way that Tanai is preceded by Maisa, we say Mukdash is, but Luchumran, not Lukula. Hey, Rabbi, what's the case? Arani Mikadesh Kach is not the Bible's case, a different case. Arani Mikachek B B Bila and we argue with Bia. I'm a Nashir Ukshom and the condition that it rains today. Interesting condition, right? You're the Ukshami, if it rains Mikudash has been labi in Mukudash. So it's the Tanai where the Maisa precedes the Tanai. Now again, according to the most of our it means that the in the in the condition of the as stated, the mice preceded the tenai, which creates the problem. According to the Shaitan, so the mice of Bia precedes the condition, and therefore the condition is null and void. Okay? Says the Gemara, Rabbi Chaim Chaim Yogan said, Bikidushem Milve, whereas the Makaj went through a loan, which he said is not about Kidushim. Nevertheless, we go to Chumra, and we say, Mechumra, it's considered to be Mekudashas. However, Karkos, Lo Karna, if you bought uh, uh, real estate with a loan you had outstanding against another individual, you say, well, I owe you, you owe me money, let that money which you owe me go to buy the land which you possess. That's not a Maizakinian. Maizakinian must be by transfer of money, might be by Chazoka, to just sh- sh- uh, or, uh, what's the word? So we just, uh, sh- shuffle the ledger balance. I'm not sure if shuffle's the right word, right? But to just, you know, change the, the balance from a outstanding loan to a so write off because it's purchasing, that's not going to see you in my Sakinian. Okay? By an issue, it is because by a woman, Hana is what's, a, what, what's critical. And that's why, even if you know, those who hold Mekash Milva doesn't work, hold Mekash Banos Mechilas Milva does work, right? The, uh, the Mekash with the pleasure I'm giving you. But by, uh, but the, by, um, but by a, um, by a, uh, or could work at least, but by a, um, a case of, uh, a Karka, you need to have a Mysa Kenyan. 
Where's the Maisa Kenya? So therefore, just to transfer the ledger balance, that doesn't work. Okay? Uh, and also, and this is very interesting, if I buy a movable object from you with a loan, now, of course, Kesef doesn't work by movable objects, right? Only Mashiach works by movable objects. But if I paid money on movable objects, I get a Mishapara, so then I, either side or next, they get a Mishapara, right? They get cursed for it. What if they committed the balance of a loan as the payments? Not actual Kenyan Kesef, but the balance of a loan was committed as payments. Then Mishapara. Mar says, no. That's not assuming a Mishapara. My skin, my skin is only transfer money. The money didn't transfer hands here. All the transferred is the balance in the ledger. That's meaningless. That's not a Mysakinian. So there's no Mishapara, not even a Mishapara for reneging on the deal afterwards. However, the flip side that there is a Kula here is Big Islami Lo Mikhol. This is a very interesting case. And I'm going to learn this like the Shire Therese's throw. The Allah is uh, if I. There's a pro- prohibition of uh, Ribis, the, the Rabbanan. If I sell you a commodity which I do not possess, unless A, the commodity is available somewhere in the city, B, there's a set price, right? If the commodity is available somewhere in the city and there's a set price, I, I can sell you a commodity which I don't have, even though at the time of delivery it's going to cost more. So it looks like Ribis, right? I'm getting, since I'm selling it to you and I don't have it, I'm taking less money. I mean, we have less money for you than if I actually had and would be delivering it to you now. Right? So it's really a loan. You're giving me less money now to get back more commodity later on. But Chazal, it's all not also derived. So Chazal said, but I'm not going to ask for it. As long as there are two elements. A, there's already a shah. That's a shah shabashuk. The ready is a set price in the city. And B, as well, that uh, we say that... Um, Just said the second condition. What is the second condition? Oh, there's set price and that there is prints in the city, right? Summer there's grain. It's not next year's grain. There has to be uh, that it's available. It's in the city, right? That's about Matsya. If I pay you now out for for next year's grain, you're going to take from me less money. Than if you, I actually pay you later on. Right. Same like a subscription price of a magazine. Yeah. If I prepay, you're going to take from me less money. Isn't that ribbis? Because when you give me the commodity, you're giving me more than I actually paid for. So it's ribbis to Rabbana. Yeah, but the money that you're spending now, you could have invested and made money yourself. Instead of you and halacha doesn't count. That's never had to for ribbis. That's what halacha is against. We're against making money with money. So we don't actually use that as a heads or ever for rivers. So, um, so, but there is that there. Again, if you ought to shash of a shuk, and there is grain somewhere in the shuk. So, what if I paid you with alva, which happens not a payment? Can I then collect later on, even though I'm actually going to be making money, it looks like ribbis? There is a set price, and there's grain in the shuk. Can I then, the fact that I uh, give you my havo, which is not a true kin, it's not even from Mishapura, right? Is that, is that enough to cement the deal? Later on, you have to deliver me the grain or the commodity, even though the price goes up. That's Amor's question. So Amor brings the in the proof from Bar Metziah. Mishmina Me'adah, it's here from the beginning of Ezun Neshev, where it says, Harei L'chol Tzli Ba'in Ya'in. The case is already bought from me wheat. But I haven't delivered the wheat at you yet. I don't even have the wheat. Because it was a case where you had to shower and there was available to say, but I didn't have any. Now, you want to go buy wine, so you want me to deliver you the wheat in order that you can cash in and go get wine. They say, you know what, I owe you money for the grain. Let's assume that with that money for the grain, I bought you wine. Right? Which, of course, didn't occur. He doesn't have the grain, he doesn't have the money for the grain, he doesn't have the wine. But we're making a fictitious transaction. Does that fictitious transaction successfully exploit the loophole in Hilchus Ribis or not? And the Mark says there, yeah, right? It says there, uh, right? Um, so the, uh, so, uh, it says there that, uh, since if he has, uh, 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 if he has no wine, actually, more there, it says it's no good. 
But if he does have wine, then it does, is good. There, there in that case, Kumar actually says that he has to possess the second commodity, the wine. But if he possesses the second commodity, the wine, then he can, he can commit the barrels of wine now, even though he's only going to deliver it later, and they're going to be worth more. Why must that be? Because it must be that the deal is considered to have been concluded at the time that the transaction took place. So even the transaction is one which concerned a loan, payment via a loan, nevertheless it's enough to cement the transaction to circumvent the problem of ribbis. Okay? He also learns in the b'risa. He sent a message, I guess. That's considered as if it's a uh, valid kiddushin. Uvoy Shabizir Abzir was upset about this. He didn't like this. Loma, why? Tapu Kopchas and Mal. Megin da Avam Machmerinon, before they had been Machmer and assumed that kiddushin milva are completely total kiddushin. And now the Kalia Leon. And now it became more Kal in their eyes because now they were told that the kiddushin was only kiddushin Luchumra. Not true kiddushin. So the prohibition became less severe in their eyes as a result of this psak. Um, Rabbi Yisrael Rabbi Rabbi Yisrael said the story is the opposite. But kill Avonagin. They're accustomed to be lenient and not to consider it to be a valid form of kiddushin kiddushin milva. Vachma leil, it was machir by them. Shimpo acher v'kitcha that it's since only kiddushin l'chumra. If after that first kiddushin l'chumra based on a milva before a divorce. If somebody else comes and makadish her, tough suba kiddushin, then the second kiddushin is also valid kiddushin misafe, and she's a get from both husbands. Okay? Now, the next two lines are, shy, are relevant to after the next mission. So let's read the first mission, the next mission, the first, and then go back to the last two lines of previous halacha. Halachava. Hamakadish isha ubita. If you marry a man and, I mean, a woman and her daughter. O Ishav Agusa, a woman and her sister, Ka'acha, simultaneously, in a Mukudosh, is not about Kiddush. It's basically the same uh, principle we had in this morning's Tafiyomi. Kosheinu Babas, Bazacha, Zafilu Basacha, say no. Since you can't do a mother and then a daughter, or a, a, a sister and another sister, simultane- consecutively, the fact that you try to override the problem by doing it simultaneously does you no good. And neither Kiddush in the same series of Al Kiddush. Yeah, but uh, the, the, uh, that's but that is the point. They rise to each other. You, to each other, you can't marry both of them. One of them you could marry, but since you're trying to marry both of them, that's what you cannot do. Okay. Uh, now, Marsha the Chamesh Noshim. It's Marsha with five women. We were born to the among which were two sisters. The other three were strangers to each other. Felikid Echor Kalkola Shiltanim, and one guy uh, 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 gathered a basket full of figs. Michel uh, Lehem. Which was in there, and there somehow belonged to them. The Shoshvi is I saw, and it also belonged to Shmita. There's also Shmita fruit. Vomar, he said, Hareku Chem Kudashusli. You all married me, Bekalkola Zu, with this basket of, of figs. Bekiblas Al Chasme and Adekum, if one of them accepted on behalf of the entire five, then it's their. Uh, then uh, they're mekudoshos, I guess. What's Tanakama say? No, it doesn't say anything. Though. Everybody's married except for the two sisters. But so the five, three are married to the guy, the other two are not. Okay? Says more. I'm Rabbi Chia Barbo. I'm Achmami Nachamish. You're fine. I'm coming to that. Achmami Nachamish. Uh, you learn from this uh, five. Kiddushim from this Misa. Hachmami, now from this we learn Shachamesh no Shimis Kachos Wachos, you can marry five women simultaneously. Now, all the Akrayim get a little bit annoyed here. They say, well, what does it mean five women? One out six, one out three, one out four? Why Dafka five? So, one could say that was the Misa, so we said five. Kormeda says an amazing thing. He says that it's because I might say you should only marry four women so each one can get Ono once a month. That has to be Chiddush, you can marry five. You can marry five women. So the, 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 the Ori Yasha doesn't like that one. He says that the, and he says the truth is that this Chiddush, Chamesh Hashim is not put down the Bavli. 
Bavli didn't take that as a chiddush. It brings on the other chiddush which we learned in this case, but not this one. So he wants to say the chiddush is I might have thought that women require separate marriages because they're, they're since they're goofy uh, mechulakim, since they're separate bodies, so they should require separate plutos for each one. That's why it's chiddush to say you can marry them as a group job. No, you don't actually have to separate each one individually. That's what he learns the chiddush is. Okay, so. Um, uh, that's one Kiddush. Then you also learn Shayishim Kabel's Kiddusha, one Kim Makabel, her Kiddushin, Vikidusha Kaveta, and her friend's Kiddusha as well. And here, Makachi Mikzela. Now, the Corbinator changes this uh, to the way the Babli has it. The way the Babli has it, the Ain Makachi Mikzela. Right? And the reason why it says it is because it says they were Shemitah fruit. Why does she Shemitah fruit? It must be that it was, uh, they tried to explain how it could possibly be valid Kiddushin. High knowledge of Makash woman with Gazela, right? So if you're in Shemitah, you're allowed to take the produce, cause, so it's not Gazela. Nice drop, right? Yeah. But we, wait a second, we had Yushami back on Daf Chav Vav. Yushami said explicitly, if you steal from a Kormeh, must have just forgotten this. If you steal from a woman, your fiance, and you give it back to her, if you had last night, then it's a Val Kiddushin. You give it to her Das Kiddushin. Right? So when do we, why don't you allow to be Makash Begazel? Well, you steal from a third party and then give it to your wife in order to be Makarsha. But if you steal from her and give it to her, so then it's okay. Because we say she was Mistam and Noach in order to get married. So that's really the case over here. So the question is a plea. Maybe the owner of the Gazela made the Yish? That's what one of the Akronim wants to say. It's all about Gazela with Yish. Right, we had it yesterday. But it's much easier, simpler to say that um, it's since they're stolen from the women themselves, the women themselves agree because they want to get married. That's the easiest thing to say. So, Raven, hey, somebody does say like you. Um, so, says uh, the that's the second thing. And uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the third thing, actually. The Paris Avera had also the Makach with fruit, which is an Avera. Why is it not very to shmeet the fruit? Because now have to do Mecca Chomemka with shmeet the fruit, right? So you do Mecca Chomemka and marry a woman. But we see, nevertheless, even though you're not allowed to, the Kedushan works, it is a valid Kedushan, right? Also, uh, uh, um, they, and we also see it here, Vain Kedushan types in Bar Arias. That the Kedushan does not devolve at all on the two Arias, even though only one of them is there but two, right? Because if you marry, you can marry one, not the other. But so, since you try to do it simultaneously, both of them are knocked out of the picture. Okay? Say no more further. Oh, maybe let's Oh, just. Maybe let's say no, I didn't do it. Let's say, but I can still keep it. This is going totally off the wall. So, this concept of Kalam Akash, Dr. Wabon Akash, refers to the Kalam Akash, refers to only those animals that treat it to Kedusha. As opposed to? As opposed to. Doesn't go on the parameters of D, but on his thoughts and his intent. And his intent in the marriage. He is willing to dissolve the marriage of Rabban and make him dissolve the marriage. That's what it means. It's nothing to do with doing it in a moral, ethical way. Call it kash shatter or vanu kash doesn't mean you have to be mikdash. It does in one case. The Gemara says if you compel a woman to be mikdash, it's against her will. So we say rabbanu dissolve the marriage. But normally it just means that you know they have the right to dictate what the das was. Not nothing to do with the parameters of the ethical nature or the gazela is a good thing to use, not a good thing to use. They don't have to interfere in that. Okay. Um, so it says my rabbi also said. By his sisters, he didn't marry either, either one of them. Uvechatos keeper, but by a korban chatos, you're mechaper. What's mean? So it says more. Hechavido. What's the case? Shochat shtechatos or shem chatos. Now this is a very kakamemi case. You shech the two chatos for the purpose of 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 one chet, right? Shochat shem shechatos or shem chatos echod for the purpose of one chet which you have committed. And somehow you managed to do this. You had the crime do it simultaneously. Both both animals were shechted simultaneously, right? So, Hamizbech borrowed a royal low. 
If you put both of them as back, and his back chooses which one it wants, so to speak, you know. But uh, now to eat from either one of them, because one of them is really chulin. So if you, you the Kohen, cannot eat from either one. Right? Makes sense. Uh, you don't like it? Why is he over on the Avera yeah, we had that. It's like out tonight. They're allowed to do things out tonight. Based on Mitosh. So, that's it. They did out tonight. So then there's a fire because it's, it, it would be a Chulim Bazaar, but, you know, we don't have a choice, so therefore that's how we do it. That's good. But, that's a good question. Um, so, uh, 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 you, say, you, you sacrifice two guilt offerings for the purpose of one karma which you have to bring the Mizbeah chooses what it wants the Mizbeah are both forbidden to eat now this, this is where it gets a little bit interesting you have the two and you do them coin the carbon and you do them simultaneously though I don't see how you're going to have such a scenario. We do them simultaneously. So Shagat is original and Shol Sholishmo. The first of the two carbon is Yishech Shalol Lishmo. There's a Shein Lishmo. The second one, Yishech Lishmo. Keeper. It works. Um, it works. Uh, 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 the first one? Yeah. No, no, not Pigol. It's not. No, no, no. Keeper Hashem, it should be Keeper Hashem, the second one is Mechaper. Vari, and it should say Vari Shon Kosher. The first one is Kosher. Now, why is that? It's a tremendous condition, because normally, all Kabbalah Shloli Shmo attack are Kosher. Except for one. Which one is that? Which which carbon do you think is after Shloli Shmo is possible? Yeah, achatas. A shlamim and ola and ashim shloish is kosher. It's not kosher as a carbon itself. It's kosher as a voluntary carbon. A chatas shech that shloish mo is possible. You can't do a thing with it. Because it's, you have to have the kavod. Right, because chatas is not for the purpose of the chet. So in any event, so no, only chatas. So. You shecht an ashim, but do you have like an ola? So that's that's okay. I mean, it wasn't the right thing to do, but you know it works. So so shalos uh, yishol lishmo bes hashen lishmo. It should be again keeper hashen iva rishon kosher. Why is that? Why is the why? Uh, uh, because. Um, uh, the ein harishon. The re the kushloli should be vain instead of sheino. The ain ha reason shloli shmo kosher. Let me call sheini haba achrov. The reason why the first one shloli shmo is kosher is because of the second one, who uh, which came after it. It wasn't even the second one to come. It makes no sense, right? But we have a principle. I looked this up. I'm pretty sure it's true. If you have two chatos, one of which is set aside for achrayas on the other, is a backup. Then, if the first one is sacrificed properly, then the second one can be a. It can be a. Not a shlom, an ola. It can be an adava, right? At the very least, you can sell it. I don't think you can sacrifice it now, but you sell it and you use the money to buy another type of carbon, right? The achatas, which was set aside as part of a set, has that leniency of other carbonas as well. Achatas was designated uniquely. And it got lost, so then there is no such leniency. I don't know if I said that right. Achatos set aside for for a backup. If one of them is checked properly, the other one can be brought, at least it can be raised, and then be, the money be brought for a carbonola. right? The owners achieved kapara uh, um, um, elsewise. So then, that chatos is one of the chamesh chatos, mesos, which have to die, has to be starved to death. Okay, remember the chatos having to be starved to death, right? No? Vaguely? The chatos should keep rebelling, a couple of types of chatos of that. Anyway, so, so, so the Gemara says, 
the reason why the first one Shlul Yishma was kosher is because of the one which comes afterwards, meaning that since one is a backup for the other, so there, of course, each one is a backup for the other one here because they're both set aside simultaneously. So then the first one, Shlul Yishma, becomes designated as the backup. And now the second one is kosher, right? The, I mean, the second one is, is the real chata, so the first one is kosher as an ola. About a vow, however, shachta rishon lishmo. You said the first one lishmo, but sheni shol lishmo. The second one shol lishmo. So it should say here kvar kiper harish. Doesn't say it here, but read from my notes. Kvar kiper harishon. The 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 first carbon was mechaper, but sheni and the second one is no good, and you can't use it at all because in Kippur Rishon, if the first one atones, ow. My Sheni, but Mechaper, what's the second one going to be Mechaper? So, therefore, in that case, the second one is no longer valid, it can't be used as a Korban. And we take out the next five wor- six words, and we go to the next part. Shaitar Sil takes them out, takes them out. Parallel is Suyim Selfish Fools. But psachim lo kiper. But pesach on the other hand, if you had two psachim, the same idea, you can't sacrifice both and say well, be yotze with one. Shein pesach ba el lachil. You need to be able to eat a pesach. And if you don't know which one's the right pesach, by definition, you can't eat it, right? And the pesach comes to be an edible korban. So if you can't eat the pesach, it's not a valid korban. So there's no such thing as the two psalm got mixed in together, there's no such rectification, right? However, this is more look at it's not like Rabbi Nasan. The Rabbi Nasan are Yaitim Zir Bulakhila say you can be Yaitse the the requirements by being Zorek even if you don't eat. Okay, in other words, by being Zorek the the, the blood of the Pesach, you Yotse the Khi Pesach even though you don't get to eat from it. So therefore even at the same scenario with two Psachim, you also be able to say the same thing. Okay, which is that uh, depends which was Shech the first. Uh, well, whichever Shech the first becomes the one which there was a um, designation. If you don't know which one is, uh, is Shech the first, then um, I don't know. Then uh, you know which one is Shech. No, sorry, they're Shech at the same time. They're, they're Shech at the same time, so then you can use either one, and the other one go becomes Chulin. Unless it was done consecutively, once it was done Shlolishmok, then the halachas are different. If Shlolishmok was done first, it's okay. And the second one is the chatas. If the Shlolishmok, the chatas, the first one, then the Shlolishmok afterwards is nothing because there's no uh, significance to it. What's going to be machaper? What's it going to do? Is that clear? Uh, uh, why is it different to base on this for chatas? Because by chatas, even the coin doesn't get to eat it. So you can't eat because they don't know which one's the kosher one. But by Pesach, according, Rabbi, according to uh, according to the Tano Argus Rabbi Nosan, if you can't eat a corn Pesach, it's not a corn Pesach. That's the definitional, uh, you know, working of a corn Pesach. Okay? Hamakai HaLoch of Ozai. Ooh, I skipped them and never went back then. Oh, good point. Sorry, it's supposed to be really before the uh, after next Mishnah. It says, "Am Rabbi Rabbi that said Beri Echanan, Erba she'ena Erba, where you have a Erba and it should be Visheena Erba. You have an Erba and a woman who's not Erba. Topes Topes she'ena Erba. You have uh, uh, it's really the principle said before. If you have an Isho Bita, right? One of the, the the, one of them is not an erva. It's only an erva because it's related to the other one, right? So nevertheless, if one is an erva, the other one is not an erva, except by its relationship to the first one, that's enough to make them both not candidates for Kedushin. If you try them guys simultaneously, the Kedushin doesn't work for either one of them. Okay? That's a good point. Okay, Eloch Hazai. I'm a Kaddish B'Koko, M'Kaddish Kodesh Kodesh so he's a Mekadosh woman with his portion in a Kodesh Kodashim. Kodesh Kodashim is a Korb Mechatos. Or Mekadosh Kodashim is portion in Shlomim. And Mekadosh is not valid because it's not his. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave it to him to eat, but it's not his to exercise jurisdiction over. Maishu Shani, if a person was a Mekadosh woman with Maishu Shani, Beim Shari, Beim Meza, whether it was intentional or unintentional, Lo Kodesh is not valid Kedushin. Remember, Meza Kodesh, if you didn't intentionally, is Mekadosh. 
Shogeg Lo Kiddush, within unintentionally, is not Mekadish. Now, the reason for that is that uh, by Meister Shani, um, the, the, uh, uh, by Meister Shani, if he didn't be amazed, it obviously wants to get rid of its Kedusha. He's going to get rid of its Kedusha by using it for marriage, and that'll work. But if he did a Beshogeg, so we say well, that was not his intent. Uh, um, the Hekdesh, uh, by Hekdesh, Mezid Kidesh, if he didn't intentionally use her Hekdesh to be a Makadish woman, so then, Mezid Kidesh Shogeg Lo Kidesh. It was done by Mezid, it's a Kiddushin. If it's done by Shogeg, it's not a Kiddushin. Why have some amazing kedusha? Because then you want to commit a meila, and you commit meila becomes chul, and that's okay. But it's not unattached, so you don't want to commit meila. Therefore, it's not a bad kedusha. Okay. Rabbi Yehuda Meir Shogi Kiddush makes it low kedush. Rabbi Yehuda says if he did it b'shogi, he was mekadesh. If he did it amazing, it's not mekadesh. The exact opposite. He says the exact opposite, and the one is going to discuss it. Um, says tomorrow, Rabbi Yehuda says. I met Diriako. Lez says, everybody agrees that when Mikash Bechelka Mukachi Kodashim is not a Val Kedushin, everybody agrees with that. The race of our Mishnah. Yerukhim Rabbi Machlokas, you know, said, that too is a surge of Machlokas. Tom and Tzini will not over there have Bechor, a firstborn animal. Mokhin also, you can sell him. Tomim, now, this is even if it's candidate to be a Korva. But he can, as long as you can sell it to him while he's alive, a Tomim Chai, while he's, li- while he's whole as he's alive, Ubaum if it's a Baum then you can sell both Chai and Shachut, right? Because if it was Kachim, so the assumption is that, um, uh, the, the, uh, if it's Kachim, so then uh, the, the, you sell the Bchor while it's alive, not while it's dead, because when it's dead, it's already a carbon, right? Can't sell it when it's dead because it's already been a carbon. That's how it got dead in the begin with, to begin with, right? Well, it's alive. You can buy and sell it, and the bal moon, which is not shechted as a carbon, you can buy and sell it when you're alive or dead. When Kachel is Eishin, use it to marry a woman. Uh, Rabbi Yehuda ben Papazi Shem Rabbi Shem Levi said, "Chai v'lo shechut." You can only uh, you, uh, marry a woman. With a live korban, not with a dead korban, a korban is already shachut, right? So it says the Gemara, Bam Rabbi Yehuda Pazi, Rabbi Yehuda Pazi also said, Rabbi Meir, he called a kachim in Meiser Beim, Rabbi Meir learns all kachim in Meiser Beim, which is also mentioned there in the same uh, Mishnah of Meiser Shein with a bechor. It's Ma Meiser Beim, a mekachim also. You should just like Meiser Beim, you can't use a mekachim a woman because there's no mitzvah. The, 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 it's never considered to be distinct from its uh, from its. Um, 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 status is uh, it's never considered to be unholy. My mitzvah imakachim is never considered to be yours. You don't have a real chelik in it. I've called kachim and kachim and my esayisha. You can't marry one with any kachim whatsoever. Now, right? Even kachim that you can eat. Even kachim you can eat because it's not really yours. You're just a guest at the table of a kodesh baruch hu. That's our learning. Rabbi Yehuda Yalif called kachim in abchor. It's a good question. No, seems from here because that's also like the quantity. These the, when the Jews when they get together, they have the same parameters. It's not really there. It's going to be carbon gavok about the zochah. They get it from a kosh baruchum. Okay. So, so again, in name of uh, uh, and Pazi says uh, that. Uh, uh, we learned it from Meister Behema. And by Meister Behema, it says you can't actually you can't sell it all because it's not yours at all, right? So you can't sell the uh, Behemoshim because the language is there. You can't sell while it's alive and whole. Nor when it's about Mum, whether it's, it's, it's uh, alive or uh, uh, dead. Okay, if it's a whole, you can't sell If it's without blemish, then you can't sell it when it's alive, nor or you can sell it when it's dead. But then the rates of carbon. By Baumum, regardless of it's live or dead, you can't use it to sell. So here. No, but Meister Behemoth doesn't matter. It's still only. Meister Behemoth is unique in that it's. 
not considered to be yours at all. You can never buy and sell it. A Bechor pack, you can say that, but you can't say it by Meiser Behemoth. Okay? So it says, so, so, so again, Rabbi 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 so too, I've called Kachim and Kachim as solution. So you can't use Kachim marry anybody. Rabbi Yehuda, the only flaw. Rabbi Yehuda learns out the same situation. Call Kachim and Abchor. Learns out from Abchor. Ma Abchor, but Kachim both isha. Boy, Abchor, you can use to be Makadish woman, right? Because you have a portion. Because you're allowed to sell it, right? I've called Kachim and Makachim by Masisha. So to all Kachim, you can be Makadish a woman with. Says Magmar Machalfi. She does it. Rabbi Yehuda and Pazi. It's a contradiction of Yudim and Pazi. Tama by us, even though Tama usually means there, Ushami speak of Mitzia. Tama Ramar here, it says, Ben Chai Ben Shochut. You're allowed to sell, uh, and use then, by inference, you're allowed to use the animal to be Makadish and Isha, whether it's live or dead. But over there, it says that you can only sell the animal, Chai Velo Shochut, while it's, uh, while it's, um, while it's, um, um, Alive, thank you, but it's not, not, not shechted. So I reckon tell two places, whether you can be Makai Shisha only while the animal's alive, even after the animal's dead. So Tom on Bashem Garme, there is saying one of them, he's saying name is himself. Ramachal, the other place is saying Bashem, Rabbi Bashem Levi, saying Rabbi Bashem Levi, Rabbi Levi. That's why discrepancy. He's quoting two different opinions. Says, so Mano, I feel the same, Rakim, and say, Kamakan! Uh, in both cases, uh, uh, I'm not sure what made me. Um, Bashem Garme means in his own name. It's, it's, it's not saying the name of Bashem Malavi. He's not hiding behind Bashem Malavi in one spot. He's saying both in his own name. But Mikdash, uh, uh, Bechaim, he has to be Kaddish. When the Kaddish Bechaim, he has to marry, uh, 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 if he's Kaddish. One second, I forgot what this means. If he's Kaddish, yeah. He's Kaddish until all the animals are alive. But it's not Kaddish to the animals as it's alive. He's Kaddish to the animal portion which is going to get after death I'm not sure why Brewer is not an issue but when he's Makadish with the portion of the animal which will be his after the death of the animal after it's slaughtered so Rabbi Shub is consistent we taught him one place he says he was Makadish with the animal dead or alive the other place he said he was only Makadish can only be Makadish with the animal when it's dead right. dead meaning here after Shrita Yep, I said in Pazi, it sounds like you're saying even while it's alive. How do we reconcile the two? By saying that you're Makadish while the animal's alive before Shrita with the portion which is going to become yours after Shrita. Why does that work? Because after you eat, that's when you have the right, after it's slaughtered, that's when you have the rights in the animal. So you, from before it's slaughtered, you're Makadish with that portion which wherever it's going to be yours, wherever it's going to be yours. Okay, so that's a record of the two, but the, the two the seeming contradiction. Now, uh, my time with Rishon and Levi. What's the logic? Rishon and Levi says you can only be Makadish while the animal is alive, not after it's dead. Rishon and Levi says you can only be Makadish while the animal is alive. Ubesaram. Yeah, he goofs. <laughs> I said it with such conviction, too. So I said, no, the contradiction was in one place he said it's true of a lady you can be a cash with the animal only when it's alive. The other place he says both dead and alive. He says one place for Buddha and Paz, he says in one place named a Shubin Levy only when it's alive. The other place he says only when it's when though both dead and alive. So that's the contradiction. And the, the resolution is, first resolution is, well, one is his opinion, the other is Rabbi Shubham Levi's opinion. Then the Mara says, no. The, uh, the other way to learn is that he tackles Rabbi Shubham Levi. And you can only be Makayish while the animal's alive with the portion you're going to get after Shrita. Why is that? Makes no sense. It's counterintuitive. If you're being Makayish with the portion you're going to get after Shrita, so then 
is really being shown at the shechita. We wait till it's dead, and why are you being mekayish while it's alive? So that's why I asked. Now my time is sure been lady. Ubesarim yelachok chazeh tnufa. Its flesh, which you eat, is like the the chazeh, like the the chest which is waved before Hakadosh Baruch Hu. What does that mean? It means it's not yours. When you eat it, it's no longer yours. It's the portion of Hakadosh Baruch Hu which was given to you, but it's not in essence yours. Certainly, it's not. A, you cannot use it as. Um, you cannot use it as your portion in order to make cash one because it's like Mishulchan Gavua Kozachu. So it's a fascinating thing, Koran Rabbi Shubin Levi. While it's alive, you make cash it even though after death you cannot. Because after death, it'll continue to be Rabbi Mishulchan Gavua. But while it's alive, the, the portion you're going to get is not yet Mishulchan Gavua. Right now, it's yours. Then, later on, it's going to be something which you get the right from a Kosh Moral Deed. My title, Rabbi Mishulchan What's the law of Rabbi Mishulchan it says Kim Kaddish after death, right? It should be not for Yolcha, but should be Lcho Ye. Pasuk by Midbar Yud Ches Yud Ches. It says it twice in that pasuk, which is a key point. Lcho Ye means it's yours both before Shechita and a few after Shechita. It's always considered to yours. My Makai and therefore you Kaddish should it even after Shechita. My Makai and Meshuvah Levi will show do it and Levi do it again. That pasuk of Lcho Ye and totally different limud. It says Riba Lcho Riba Lo Havaya Cheres. It gives you an extra. Uh, uh, existence for this carbon. This carbon can be eaten the um can be eaten for two days and one night. Unlike carbon toyota, other culture kind which can only eaten by it for a day and a night, you can eat this for two days and one night. You get extra time. That's because of Yelcha. It should be by you for a longer period of time. Okay, type of tesamav, time to learn over there. Chalos Amorit, the Chalon Amorit took off from his dough. Vamaduma, and you have stuff where Amorit got Chuma mixed up with his chulin. While Kul Kesem Kesem Ma'is, the stuff which is bought for 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 money used to redeem Ma'is Sheni, Ushua Menachos and stuff which is left over from Mincha brought from Amorit, but turn me not mine. You don't have to worry about mine. You know, normally by Amorit is crap. You have to worry about tonight. In these rare situations, they were make. We don't have to worry about tonight. Tani, we want to tell where even though you don't have to worry about Tamai, what in essence is the problem with Tamai? That Amarats were not taking off Meiser, and therefore they wouldn't take off Trumas Meiser, right? So let's say, you don't have to be Cheshish for Tamai, but what if you were, right? The Kulan Shiyikra Shem Le Trumas Meiser, Meiser Shem Yishlem, if you did were Cheshish for Tamai, even though you didn't have to, Masha Asa Asli, so then we, what you did is considered to be a valid, uh, a valid doing. You have to buy both Trumas and Meisers which you took off. And Blessed are my Blessed said, Chutz mi shorim menachos. So therefore, uh, uh, um, that's only true about everything other from shorim menachos. Me uh, shorim menachos, even if you decided to take off Meisers and all that stuff with my, it's invalid. Why is that? Because it's shorim menachos are by definition what? Kachin, right? So you have to go from Mincha. And you can't, it's with the money of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You can't designate part of it for a specific earmark purpose which you want to designate it for. So it says the Gemara, Rabbi Yirmiya Mar Hashar B'Machlokes. Rabbi Yirmiya says, everything else, in, uh, 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 everything else, and actually the Gemara is going to say everything else means that which is acquired with Meister Shani money is also Machlokes whether you can use. And Machlok is whether you have to take out mine, and Machlok is whether you can use for Kiddushin. Rabbi Yossi boy, Rabbi Yossi Bass, hide the Machlok. He doesn't understand what Rabbi Yossi is saying. What's the Machlok? Mark, what are we talking about? In Crimea, who might, who might say, we're going like Crimea, who might say, who, uh, who, Shore Menachos, both might say, and Shore Menachos are the same, in that by the mayor holds, my Shoshani comes from Shulchan Gavar, so Lua Savalo Klu. So you can't be Makadish. In Krabi, Rabbi holds that Maishu Shani is Momon Hedyot, so Maishu Asasui, it is a valid uh, Korban. So, so where's the point of contention here? Or Ramon, Ramon said, I was least Kesari, I went to Kesari. The Shema has Rabbi Chizki, Yossim, and I heard Rabbi Chizki was sitting. Mas, then he was learning how Makaish Bechelkov, somebody marries with his own portion, Bekochi, even we, uh, 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 where the beef from Kochi Kochim, and Kochim Kal, or Kochim Kalim, whether it be from Machatas or from Mishlamim, Ainu Mukudashis. It's not a valid marriage, right? 
because it can't be used for the purpose of marriage. Rabbi Lezer, my dear Rabbi Lezer, says that everybody agrees that. Rabbi Yochanan, my machlokas, Rabbi Yochanan said it's a machlokas. Vami say, and I said to Rabbi Yochanan, me non shmi lachad and milsim. Where did you hear this? That it's a machlokas. Amrli and Rabbi Yochanan said, Marie Rabbi Yirmiya. I heard from Rabbi Yirmiya it's a machlokas. Vami say, and I says, Yeus. Oh, it makes sense. To Shama, I told Rabbi Lezer. You heard that which Rabbi Lezer said. Rabbi Lezer says, Divrei Akol. Right? Uh, Divrei Akol. Rabbi Lezer says, everybody agrees this. So, who do I have been machlokes? So, he said it's a machlokes, actually. Then not everybody agrees to this. In other words, you don't know what the status of my Shani is. Look at my Shani, because not everybody agrees with the status of my Shani. Some people say, my Shani is Kachim. Some people say, my Shani is Kulit. Rabbi Yossi, the low Shmiele, Rabbi Yossi did not hear this, what the Machlokas is about. So he asked, Trichohu, he asked the question, Do Omri said, Hey, the Machlokas, what's the Machlokas? Igrai Meir, if you call Igrai Meir, who my Sushar Menachos, but both my Sushar Menachos are money of Hashem, Los Al Klum, you can't be Makash of them. Igrai Behuda, it's going like Rabbi Yehuda. So then, on the contrary, Kun Rabbi Yehuda, Masha Asa Asli, by Menachos, there should be a, uh, 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 by, by Menachos, there should, uh, by both Menachos and my Sushani, the same Allah should apply. What's Allah should apply? The Allah should apply is that, uh, that, 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 that yeah, the, 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 by Menachos, if you're Makarish, Bekachi, Mekudashis. Because Rabbi Yudah holds before, in Makash Bukachim, a woman, it is Mukudesh, because it's your portion in the Kachim. So the bottom line is, after all said that, it's a very confusing Gemara. But the bottom line is that we have a basic Machlokas or a main Rabbi Huda, which comes out to be across the board Machlokas. By Maestro Shania and by Kachim. Is it all going to be Mom and Gavaz? Is it all going to be Mom and Hediot? Now, of course, it's holy. But even after it's holy, what's its status? Rameer holds all this stuff is whole, holy, and if it belongs not to you, to Hashem, you can't be Makadish with it. Whether it's Chai or Shachat. Rabbi Yudha holds, no, even though it's holy, it belongs to Nikadish, you can't be Makadish with it. Both by Maitre Sheni and by Korbanos. Except that by Korbanos, we had a Machlokas, whether that's even once it's slaughtered, and its mitzvah has been fulfilled, so it's achieved its ultimate Kedusha, and now it's, of course, Shaykh to Neusser and all those things, so you can't actually, maybe then it's not Shaykh, maybe it's only one of it's alive, or even when it's dead. And Rabbi Yemi stressed that when it says uh, uh, that uh, Trumas Meiser, if you call Trumas Meiser on Demai, which you are uh, not liable to call, that too is subject to this Machlokas. I mean, Rabbi Yudha are cholik in this. Rabbi Yossi didn't, so Rabbi Yossi, for reasons which I don't fully understand, even the Gemara seems to understand it very well, Rabbi Yossi held that this Machlo, uh, said he didn't understand where the Machlokas appears in the Brisa. But the Taka doesn't appear in the Brai, so it's Rabbi Yirmi is saying that this Brai would be a point of contention. Whether Trumas Meiser takes effect on Shor Menachos, or Trumas Meiser takes effect on Glokuach Mamos Meiser Sheni, is a function of whether we say that those are Momon Gavor or Momon Hediot. And that's Machlokos Rameh and Rabbi Yudha. Okay? Katomach Rameh, when Rameh died. It's a little bit of a story, a long, longer story elsewhere. The same story appears longer than elsewhere. Katomach Rameh, Gaza Rabbi Yudha, when Rameir died, Rabbi Yudha made the decree and said, "Are you come to tell me you're Rameir Khan? I don't want Rameir students coming in because they're, they're, they're brazen. They're tough to deal with. So, Dachach Sumchas Baal, Sumchas pushed in. Armei said to, to Rabbi Yudha, Hamakash Bekotche Kodoshim. Well, actually, Rabbi Yudha said, Hamakash Kotche Kodoshim, married with Kotche Kodoshim, meaning with Korban Chatas Dashlai, should be Eina Mekudoshes, not valid. So, Armei so Sumchas said to him, this is a really a very amazing question. I, I would never expect this question. He said, "Bishon Yechnesis he Lazara. How is he Makadisher? How'd you get into the Azara? Chatas meat can't leave the Azara. How are you going to be Makadish? Now, the truth is, we know already, right? What's the easy answer? She says, she says, give it to another Kohen. Now, be Makadish too, just like the case we had a couple of nights ago." But Tzumchus asked us a question, right? So he answers, He says, uh, the, the, the Shliach receives it. She herself does not, she, the, she herself does not receive it. 
By Mekitsha. Says more still, what's the Kedushin? So Amar Elazar says, Begufo. With the meat of the carbon itself. Now, according to the uh, Kormais, the Mesa Kormais says, even though she can't eat the meat, it's still about Kedushin. Why it's about Kedushin? Because he gave her something. Even though she can have no Hanor from it. So for her, it's worthless. But since it's worth worthful to somebody, so that's enough to make it a vow kedushin. So the Imre Baruch on the bottom, he goes to town on this. He goes crazy on this. He says it's not that's not kedushin. She's got to receive something. So everyone wants to say when kubudesh is begufa means by her receiving the carbon meat. It's since she can give it to anybody she wants, is as if she received it. The thing is that this, that's flawed. Carbon makes more sense because look at the next line. Yochanan says she's Mikadish she's Mikudesh Tevis Hano that she gets to give it to whoever she wants. So really Kwani May Baruch there's almost no difference between Magufo and and Tevis Hanoya, right? Korban A it's a big difference, but you have to have a say Korban is Khidish. That Bagufa means the meat itself, even though she gets nothing from the meat. And Tevis Hanoya means she can direct it to whichever coin she wants. Kwani May Baruch makes more sense that Gufo means she can give the Gufo whatever she wants, but then the question is, what's in between Gufo and Toiva Sanoya? It seems to be the same thing, right? So, anyway, so, 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 it says the Gemara, Oh no, Mar, maybe we'll say, Velo Pligan, Takat Sana Machlokas. We'll say, Madame Rebbe Lezer Begufo, he also meant, Bechez Kas Tova Sanoya Shabo. He meant with Tova Sanoa, not with the body itself, as Imre Baruch says. But again, it seems like Imre just developed the theory now, not that it was the theory previously. Let's just get to Abba's base. Rabbi Chizkiyon, Rabbi Vishim, Rabbi Lezer said, Mekach and Beprutos shall Meister Shani. Now the Korban Shaitari still changes this. He says it should be Begufo shall Meister Shani. Aye, Meister Shani doesn't belong to you. Well, according to Rabbi Yudah, it does. Aye, what is she getting from Meister Shani? Says, no, 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 she's getting What's she getting? She can take her up to Yushalayim and eat it. Hi, right now she can't do anything with it? She'll take her up to Yushalayim. Very similar to being Makadish with the goof of the Chattas, right? But Maizr Shani, Maizr Shani, it should be really Maizr Shani Bukhule. Uh, it's a header from the Mishnah. You know what? That which our mayor said, uh, uh, that only be Maizr your Makadish with Kutch, with, with, with Maizr Shani. Uh, 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 one second. Dao Huda said, sorry. Dao Huda said that only be major Makash, not be is because you never had a mind to transgress the return unless you intentionally had a mind to trans- trans- transgress the return. But it's not, not supposed to be Makash with Kachim or Maestro Shani. So the only time it's about Kedushin is if it's amazing if you knew you were transgressing the return and did it nevertheless. Omar um, Abisiru says, one case of Mishra is never his intent, and the other case is never her intent. Omar and Rabina explain. Rabina explain. Hekdesh lo Hekdesh, he would never want to be Makaj with Hekdesh and transgress that very Meila. So if the only time it works is if he's amazing. And he knows he's transgressing. And he Tafka wants to transgress. And give it the car to him and be moil. You know, you misuse them. Or my lo and the other and my Sushani. She's not, but she doesn't want to be Mukudashis, whether it's Shregig or Mazid, because what? She doesn't want to go up to Yushalayim with it, right? It's a pain. So if she's not Mukudashis. Um, Rabbi Yadmir said, no, it's more than that. Hektish, Lol Saldaita, Lol Saldaita. Neither of them want to use Hektish. My Sushani, Lol Saldaita, Lol Saldaita. My Sushani, he doesn't care. Let her go up to Yushalayim. She's the one who cares. Okay, so each one has a concern, and that's why there's an argument about. That's why uh, uh, in our Mishnah, it's actually Machlokas Meitzur Sheni and question whether Shogig yes, Meizid yes, Shogig not, or both Shogig and Meizid Lokidish. But the question of Shogig and Meizid is predicated on the assumption that there are deficits involved, and the deficits are these deficits are by Kachim, the core of question of Mila, which will come back tomorrow too, and Meitzur Sheni, the question of bringing up two Shogim. Okay. No question whether she's getting a no. Question whether she's getting a no. In other words, if she's not getting a no, it's not about the uh, kedusha. She can have a honeymoon. 